Um, well, I've been like writing little raps since I was little, just writing little stuff like remixes to like stuff I heard on BET and stuff like that. But then um, how I started actually doing it is the day I got kicked out of school. Um, it was like early, so I was bored as hell. I was at home by myself. And I already had a rap written down in my phone and I already had a beat. So I just went and recorded it just to hear what it sounded like. You feel me? And then like two, three days later, I just ended up putting it on my Instagram page. And it just, I got so much like good reactions from it. I just went with it after that. Mm, I see. Now, did you get a good reaction because you're a pretty girl doing it? Or did you get a good reaction because people actually like what they heard? Well, at the time, I was like regular to me. I was just like, you know, I wasn't nothing. <laughs> Not how you are today. Yeah, so I feel like they just fucked with it. Like. Now, when you say you were young writing raps, how young? Do you remember what age? No, because I was just doing it. Like my big brother and them, they always was rapping together. So I just go in and write me something down. But <laughs> I was young, so it would be just a little something, something. How did you learn how to rap? Did somebody teach you? No, I was just, I just grew up around it, basically. Mm. Any musical influences? Anybody that inspired you? Um, well, maybe all Detroit rappers, period, inspired me. That's, that's one. But uh, probably watching movies, like rap documents and stuff when I was little, that's a big inspiration, like Biggie. You know. What about your brothers? You mentioned them. Yeah. They just was always freestyling. They'd probably just be talking about each other, but it still was sweet to me because they'd pick like a sweet beat or something. Mm. The Detroit rappers that you've, that influenced you, you didn't say somebody in particular, but you said Detroit rappers that influenced just you. Just Detroit have you rappers, period. Like, when I first started rapping, my favorite rapper was Real Kane, and my favorite rapper was Dex Osama. Um... And you Cash Doll, she was my favorite female rapper. Nicki Minaj, I always loved Nicki Minaj. I always loved her. Uh, Lil Mama, back in the day, you know, Lil Mama used to come out. <laughs> mm. I used to fuck with Lil Mama. Yeah, that's probably it. Who who haven't you worked with yet? Was it Nicki and Lil Mama? Who haven't I worked with? Yeah. Like who haven't I met? You no, I mean, you, you've you done a record with Cash Doll. No. No, you didn't? No. Oh, okay, I thought you did. Okay, I thought you did. What no. about Dex? No, I never did it. Oh, I so, thought you did that. Uh, I know you did Rocaine. Yeah, but I wasn't uh, rapping around the time Dex was here. Oh, I see. I got you. Yeah. Okay. So, out of all those people you've named, right, who uh -huh. would you want to collab with the most? If you had it your way, if you had the chance right Dex now. Dex first. And foremost, Dex. Mm. <laughs> he the reason I wanted to do this shit for real. Like, uh. <laughs> he just gave me that courage. Like, you need to. My mama will give you like a whole document on me <laughs> talking about Dex all the time. I knew all his songs. Like, she was like, the the my birthday was coming up around the time. Like, not too. My my birthday was coming up like not too far from his death date. You know what I'm saying? So uh, she was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him that he your favorite rapper, and I'm going to just have him pop up on you for your birthday. Then we had to hear that news. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It just hurt me. Not even, I didn't even know him. You know what I'm saying? It just hurt me. Too. So you never, ever met him? I never met him before. Oh, okay. I thought you had. I was under the impression you had. Mm -mm. Never met him. Now, how many years would you say you've been perfecting your craft for at this point, taking it serious? A year. And what's the reaction you've gotten to it? You know, some people, when they do a year, I mean, today times are different, but, uh, you know, back in the day, if somebody was doing it for a year, people were probably way more judgmental, more critical. Now when I do interviews, a lot of rappers, even popping ones, they'll say, oh, I've only been doing it for a year, and it's not something that's, like, looked down upon. I mean... It's always just my fan base always been consistent so ever since I started like putting it on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Just doing it, period. When I first did it, it just popped, you know what I'm saying? So I see. Now do you remember your 
Well, was your first, okay, so you remember your first studio rap that was on Instagram that you posted it, correct? Uh, no. My first studio rap was songs I just recorded because I was uh, booked to perform places. I got bookings off them freestyles I was putting on Instagram. So I had to just go record some little stuff right quick, but I never put them out. The the stuff that I um, recorded before rapping, I never put those out. Oh. I just performed them when I got booked. You feel me? Well, in that case, uh, like even back <coughs> then, you know, you were writing raps early. Uh -huh. What were you rapping about back then? The same shit. <laughs> I see. The, for real. Like, I was a high head, so it was probably worse. But the same shit, you feel me? I'm still violent. When you're in the studio, Top three things you need in the studio. Snacks, weed, <laughs> and you feel me, good vibes. What kind of snacks? Everything, really. I, I literally have everything. Like, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Gas station type snacks, yeah. like convenience store Munchy type? snacks, you mm. know. When it comes to marijuana, what strain? Uh, what you mean? Like, is it a certain strain? I mean, marijuana is different. Is it a certain kind of weed? I yeah, like exactly. There cookie. You go. I like cookie. You know, it's my favorite. It's what, I smoke. what does smoking marijuana do for you exactly when you're in the studio? It can do different things for different people. I just like to get high. I don't know what it's supposed to do for people. I just, <laughs> you know. Do you ever record music sober? No. Well, yeah, I have before, but most of the time I'm high. Do you notice a difference between your sober raps and your high raps? No. No. Just curious. Now, craziest studio story, if you have one. Someone included you in their, <laughs> in their crazy <laughs> studio story. I don't know if that was the same one or you have something different. I mean, that was the first time. <laughs> you feel me? So that's probably... That's probably the craziest. <laughs> you were almost shot in the studio. Yeah. And that was an interview we did with 9,000 mm -hmm. Ronda. He crazy, man. So and you were asleep. I was asleep. You hear me? So he was high as hell, though. When you heard the shot, what were you thinking? I thought I was shot. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was so close to me. I thought I was shot. I Point was, blank range. Yes. I woke up and I was just so mad. I didn't even care about nothing. Like, I asked no questions. I just looked at Rondé because he was the one looking innocent. Like, <laughs> now, um, okay, I I read a story on TMZ about Kanye West, and it said that Kanye West is recording new material or he's creating new material on a mountaintop in Wyoming, which I've never heard a rapper do before. What? He what? Yeah, he's recording okay. or or he's like, you know, creating new vibes mm -hmm. for his new album in a mountaintop on top of a mountain in Wyoming, the state of Wyoming, which is a very unique place for somebody to do that. I've never yeah. heard of that before. But I mean, he'd been rapping for a very long time, so maybe he ran out of places to go and he want to inspire himself or something. So. I travel when I want to get some little ideas. He's recorded before like in Paris, in Hawaii, like strange places or exotic destinations. What about you? What's the most unique location you've recorded or gotten, you know, creative vibes at before? If at all. I don't know. Mm. I know you're, you're still young, so. Probably here. Sure. Atlanta? I, yeah, here. Recently, but before it was Miami. Were you? Go ahead. Uh, me and Cuban always was in Miami, <laughs> so we just be making music out of nowhere, and that's how you know it's a good vibe because we just want to make music like together and shit. Was it a special place in At like a unique place in Atlanta? For example, I've done an interview before where they were with an Atlanta rapper that told me they put together a mic and a, a studio setup in the middle of a trap, a real trap house. I mean, yeah, you could set up a studio station. I mean, studio shit anywhere. But for you, was it a particular location in Atlanta or it just Atlanta, studio. period? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Now, what's your recording process like? Are you writing records? Yeah, like I write. Pen and pad on the phone? On the phone, on my, on my phone. <laughs> what about, because I know the new generation of rappers, most of them are freestyling and punching in. Yeah, people do do that, I don't do that. 
because I like my shit to be perfect. I need to know what I'm about to say. I need to perfect how I'm about to say it, you know, so I like to write that shit down. From start to finish, what's the average time you spend on a song? Shit, it depends. Like, it depends on how... It depends. It depends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it depends on a lot, it, you know? If it's just a regular song that I'm norm normally doing, I'm just do that right there. But if it's something I want to do different or, you know. But is there an average? You know, sometimes people say, I spend an hour on a song. Some people say, you know, it can take me two weeks to finish a song for real, for real. Ain't no telling. You're all over the place. Yeah, you say for real with it. Now, what about something I've seen recently? I never saw it before, but I've been seeing some rappers, they record sitting down. Usually, you, people are accustomed to seeing people stand up in a studio and record. I mean, sometimes I stand up, sometimes I sit down. <laughs> Is there a difference you notice, maybe with your voice or nah. how you attack a record, so to speak? Nah, I don't think so. Like, okay. sitting down wouldn't make you feel, like, too comfortable recording? Like, too, I don't want to say lazy, but... No, I don't be, like, sitting all up in the seat. I be, like... At the edge of the seat, you uh, know. <laughs> like, I see. I'm still. I got. I still got to be hyped. Still got to be able to hop around. But because you like when you see people stand up, they're very animated. Some mm -hmm. rappers, mm -hmm. but I don't know if you can be as animated sitting down. Okay. You can't can do anything. <laughs> what about writer's block? And that's a phrase people use. You know, when they're stuck on an idea, stuck in the middle, can't finish the record. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just it's I a mean, fork in the road. I don't get writer's block too often, but if if I do like come close to not being able to finish a record, I'm gonna just go to the next and come back to it. You know what I'm saying? What's the longest you worked on a record? Like you started it, maybe had writer's block, stopped it, and then eventually finished it. Mm. I probably wouldn't call it writer's block because that's like not being able to just do it. I could just go to the next shit, so I can't. If I can't, you know what I'm saying, put something on this, I can probably do this, but I ain't about to just not do nothing. You use your phone to write your lyrics. Have you ever lost lyrics on your yep. phone? How do you deal with that? Just start over. I mean, <laughs> everything happened for a reason. That's how I make myself feel better. <laughs> mm. Everything happened for a reason. One song, a couple songs, a whole mixtape? Like... Just ideas, period. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just writing. Here's something I want to write down right quick. You know what I'm saying? Hurry up and write that shit down in my, in my phone. Fuck around, try to come back to it, and it's gone. Tried to remember them? I smoke too much, but mm -hmm. I don't even. <laughs> what about beats? Now, I know you may uh, come across a variety of beats. Any <coughs> beat you've received that you passed on that became a bigger song for somebody else? Mm. No, I don't got one either. Not yet. Risk versus reward. What's the biggest risk you took for your music career so far? Um, for my music career? Yeah. Shit. Having friends, I guess you could say that. It ain't no time for that shit. Mm. <laughs> Like, I used to go out and you know, all that shit. Like, I ain't even been feeling like I want to go out. You feel me? Like, I want to just go to the studio. I want to do shit like that. Mm, I don't be want to do shit. Was it worth it? Yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah, because when I was going out, you feel me, ain't no telling. I'm probably getting drunk or what. I ain't going to wake up early. You know what I'm saying? When I got to... Probably gonna oversleep the next day or something. Just can't even be out like that. Just chill in the house if that's the case. Proudest accomplishment so far in your music career? Um, accomplishments. You've been taking it serious for a year, so you might not be able to answer this yet, but if mm. you can. Um, hitting millions on YouTube, uh, meeting new people. People that I would never think would know, you know, about me or mm -hmm. be excited about me, you know what I'm saying? I ran into a lot of famous legends that's actually excited to be around me, you know what I'm saying? Being out of a real tight situation. Biggest failure 
so far in your music career? Biggest flop? Hmm. I don't want to talk about my biggest flop. Oh, okay. <laughs> what's the biggest misconception of you? What's one, peop what's one thing people think about Molly that's not true? They think... I wouldn't say they don't think Molly bought it, but they be like, you know what I'm saying? It's unbelievable. I don't give a fuck if it's unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? These bitches want you to indict yourself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you know, I shot this bitch. No. What the fuck? What the fuck I look like doing that type of shit? That's why I be chilling. When, you know, bitches just be like, yo, she ain't about it. Them to be the same bitches that never do nothing. They just be talking. You know what I'm saying? So it just be like that type of shit, probably. That's one thing. Besides that, don't nobody, you know, feel no type of way about me. Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Mm -hmm. Craziest rumor. It's a lot of them motherfuckers. Um, Why are there so many rumors? Because bitches be hating. <laughs> it's, it's like outrageous shit. Like, I don't even want to go there because mm -hmm. it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy shit. Some shit y'all probably never hear before, but some bullshit. But, but you've me, heard so crazy I, stuff. I, yeah, it don't even surprise me no more. How often are the rumors that you hear true, though? Because sometimes people say there's a little bit of truth. Shit, if it's a little bit of truth, I'm going to tell you this is a little <laughs> bit of truth. Ain't no, ain't nothing to hide. You feel me? Or if, if a lot of people, enough people say it, then it's got to be true, people might think. No, nah, fuck that. If I ain't said that it's true, then it ain't true. You feel me? Hmm. Fuck what other people got to say. I don't give a fuck. They ain't me, you know? What question do you hate to answer? Anything I that bothers you? I hate to answer. That people ask of you. Who you beefing with? <laughs> you feel me? Like, that? that's one of them looks you got to hit a bitch with because it's like, I ain't beefing with nobody. These bitches be beefing with themselves because it's no money in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Bitches just be wanting to pick at you because you popping. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way a bitch going to fuck with you if you popping. You feel me? That's why I wear this nice beer around my neck. You know? Mm. So just to remind bitches that, you know, it is what it is. Now, you kind of answered my next question I was going to ask, and I was going to say, do you care what people think of you? No, not at all. <laughs> Are you being truthful when you say Truthful, 100%, cross my heart, how you do it? <laughs> Call <laughs> it. Because, yep. cause I, it's, I mean, you're 18, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the rumors about you, you said there's a lot of them. Yeah. The hate you receive, obviously, mm -hmm. has to be a lot of it. Mm -hmm. the way you responded to it, the beef question that people, you hate people asking about, mm -hmm. there must be a lot of that. That could be hard to deal with you for somebody think, like yourself. You would think, but all my life it happened. You know what I'm saying? It's just, when, I'm, when I was little, you know what I'm saying? Bitches put old pictures of me on the internet and all of that shit. I don't care about none of that shit because when I was little, bitches was hating on me then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like... But I can't help being pretty. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitches was mad because shit, shit I can't even help. I'm a fucking kid. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like that type of shit. There's adults. Yeah. Maybe twice the age of you that probably couldn't handle. Half the shit I go through. Yeah. Right. But it's just my mama always been blunt with me. You know what I'm saying? I've never got anything for really sugar-coated. Like, my mama all I had. So... There's people. I, nothing was ever sugarcoated for there's me. There's people that can get stressed out very easily. Mm -hmm. There's people that deal with anxiety because of mm -hmm. the type of stuff you receive. Yeah. Not a problem for you. No. Thick skin. You have thick skin. <laughs> you say that. What about music wise? Do you care what people think? No, I really don't give a fuck. If somebody don't give, I mean, if somebody don't, you know, fuck with my music, they don't have to listen to it. I have a very nice fan base, and I love them. <laughs> and it's not doing nothing but growing, so I know I'm doing something right. So, you know, those who don't like it, I can give a fuck about it, you know? What are your keys to success? <sighs> mm, focus on self. <laughs> because once you, like, lose your, like, focus on your dream, 
it's just like you just gonna be lost at the day. Like I've lost focus on my dream before a couple times actually. And it's boring for real. You know, you ain't got nothing to look forward to. You're not excited to wake up and go do something. You know what I'm saying? So really focus on self. Do what you wanna do, what you wanna do, not what nobody else wanna do. When you talk about the dream, are you talking about the music dream or mm -hmm. something else? Yeah. My you've music dream. When you say you've lost focus, you mean you took a break, thought about quitting perhaps? Never in my, you know, when I started rapping or whatever. I'm saying like before this shit. Ah. You know, I never regretted rapping or wanted to stop or nothing, never, no.